Leave no trace, pack out your trash. Hello friends, so we're here at the trailhead, it's snowing out and it's supposed to be raining tomorrow and the day after, so we decided to come out backpacking. As you can see, it's packed over here, <laughs> but um, I figured we'd just take some time off, get away and uh, relax out here. The benefit, there are huge benefits to this actually, although it might look bad. First of all, it's not going to be crowded, so we're probably going to find some good campsites around the lake. There are going to be no bugs, no mosquitoes, nothing. And it's going to be super quiet at night. And it's snowing. And uh, it's snowing right now. So we're going to hike in about three and a half miles in the snow. Mixed with a little bit of freezing rain. And tomorrow and the day after, uh, it's supposed to be raining pretty hard. So we'll see how we're going to deal with that. So this is going to be pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, that's what's going to happen today. What do you think? It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, as you can tell, there's just one other truck that's parked over here and it's raining. <laughs> so to prepare, we did bring micro spikes because I don't think we'll need snowshoes because it's not really there's not that much snow yet, but if we start slipping, we're gonna put on our micro spikes and all that, but it is snowing pretty pretty good right now. So what we're gonna do is get our permits, we're gonna sign in, and then we're gonna hike. We are here, we're gonna hike all the way to Blue Lake. And that's what that is right there, Blue Lake. See, it's important to take selfies and pictures while hiking. So the snow stopped and we're still hiking. But one thing we wanna definitely say, if you haven't heard already, is that you don't wanna sweat, especially when it's gonna be cold. You wanna take your time. And if you feel like you're gonna sweat, just stop and rest. Cause um, you can get hypothermia pretty easily. And it's, especially when it's cold out like this. So you don't want any of your clothes to get wet with sweat if you can help it. So we've just been taking frequent breaks, slowing down our pace a little bit. All right, so we made it to camp. We finished setting up our tent and the tarp. It's already starting to get dark and it's almost six o'clock. So we're gonna give you a tour and then we're gonna start getting our dinner ready. All right, so here's our tent set up. As you can see, we're at site one. It's on that pole. There's a little fire pit area, but 
we're not gonna worry about the fire right now right now it's drizzling already so um the forecast does did call for some rain showers uh heavy rain showers tomorrow and the day after today it's supposed to be just snow but we can already feel some some drizzle um and here's our tarp setup there's katie just chilling hunkered down in her down jacket <laughs> we got our tarp tied down like this so when we eat we're gonna eat out here we got our chair set up over here as you can see right there and it's hard to see and tell but right there is the lake um, that's Thomas Lake over there so hopefully if the weather does get better we'll uh, go out there and take a look if not that's all we're gonna see so we're not too worried about that um, and this is a tarp that I got the last minute actually this is a, uh, a 10 foot super fly but chill gorilla and this is what I got at on uh, Amazon actually and it was like like 20 bucks or something like that so we're gonna test it out for the first time so you can see uh i made this tarp in kind of like a porch mode situation going on if it does rain it's gonna you know fall down this way this side i might have to lower it a little bit i don't want the the rain to pull up on the top but uh that's what it is right now So, what's happening right now is, as you can tell, there's a lot of snow dumping right now. It's raining, snowing pretty heavy. Our tent is starting to get white on the top with like a thick layer of snow. So, what we decide to do right now is uh, to get our lunch going. So, we got our jet boil bowl in our water. Like, what are you having tonight? Beef stroganoff. She's having the beef stroganoff, and I am mm -hmm. having the mountain house. Chili Mac with beef. So, yeah. So we're gonna have these for dinner. Since we couldn't get a, we didn't get a fire going tonight. What we're gonna do is, uh, we're just gonna finish eating and then hang up our food, and then go into our tent and just try to get a little warm and stuff. So. You know. No, don't do that. <laughs> and then. Uh, Go in the tent to get warm. What else? So, we're not going to try a fire tonight. Um, we're just going to enjoy the food. There's no dry wood. There's no dead standing trees. There's nothing around here. So, um, we're just going to eat, go in, settle in, chill out for a little bit, and then go to sleep tonight probably. But uh, if anything develops, we'll catch you guys on board. Alright. There's already snow gathering here. Oh man. Hey guys! Hey guys! <laughs> uh, so, after we made the food, we decided to come in here and chill. And uh, it's it's about 7.30 right now, so we might have an early night. <laughs> a late uh, for some of us. Yeah, actually she usually sleeps around this time because she works early in the morning at around like three so for her this is about normal about time for me not yet <laughs> but i am kind of tired so i might fall asleep and we've talked and we probably we decided that we might actually just go home tomorrow if it continues to rain um, there's not much we can do around here so we'll just kind of enjoy the rain eat some breakfast maybe lunch 
and then pack up and get out. Um, Tell them about the water source. Because the water was really dirty right where we're at. I don't know why, but he had to leave me alone for a while. And it was getting dark. And he went for a long time to get the clean water. And then he filtered it. That's it. <laughs> well, the thing is, we we're camping next to a lake, but the edges of the lake are frozen, and there's like a lot of downed um, plants, so it's hard to access the water, and the water that I can access is like really dirty. Um, not really dirty, but there's just so much debris in there that I can't even properly use my dehydration system, so... What I had to do is I, I had to backtrack on the trail a little bit to another lake um, and then go to shore over there and get some water from there. Um, during that time, I had to leave her alone. But, uh, you know, she's still alive. Barely. <laughs> but, uh, you know, she's still fine, so I think we're okay. And uh, so I was able to get that water, bring it back, and we filtered it out. And we're going to probably use that water for our meals to boil and also boil and uh, make our coffee and stuff in the morning and tea. And uh, see you in the morning. Good night. We've been hearing some weird noises and we don't know if that's the uh, the snow melting because it's raining or if it's just a lot of little pieces of snow or hail or whatnot, but... It's been making this noise where it sounds like something's scratching against the outside of the tent. So I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go outside and investigate. No. And then um, Katie's going to just watch the tent. No. And she's going to be in here. Uh -uh. And then I'm going to go outside and, and see what's going on. No, and if I don't come back, then she's going to be able to take care of herself and... <laughs> Tell my family that I love them, okay? Yeah. All right, honey. Good morning everyone. So it looks like we're getting a mixture of rain and some snow this morning. As you can tell earlier there was a whole bunch of snow covering the tent. We just had to tap it off. And the tarp, the tarp did hold up. Uh, that part just came loose. So I just had to retie it. Um, the crazy thing about this site is that overnight just a bunch of animals or whatever animals came and just kind of use the, the side of trees as restrooms and that's all throughout the campsite also there's just like big pieces of snow that are whoa falling because we hear thumping on the ground here and that thumping is usually caused by the big pieces of big chunks of snow falling from the, the treetops luckily let's see there it is Luckily, where we, our tent was is right in between here, so there's not much tree over us, so no uh, widow makers or anything like that. There's some more, and there's the lake. Now we decided to just pack up everything this morning and head out. The crazy thing is there's, uh, we came in through this way and there's not really a trail because it's all covered by snow and fallen trees. So we're gonna have to try to navigate our way back out. All right, so we're heading out 
back in the trail. And everywhere we go, yellow snow. Careful. Yellow snow over there. Yellow snow over there. Yellow snow over there. This is a, a urinating frenzy going on out here, it seems. We missed out on a lot overnight. I don't see any tracks, but it's probably covered up because of this constant snow overnight. There's like a little gap here on the truck here like that. I don't even know why that's there. That's weird. Something peed. Yeah, potentially <laughs> on the side of my truck. Uh, look at that. And the bed has probably about like, what, six inches of snow on there. Nice. Back at the trailhead. It was a nice short hike back because we didn't go all the way out to three and a half miles. As you can see, there's no other cars here. Apparently, we were the only ones smart enough to go camping in the snow in the freezing temperatures. Or is it the other way around? I don't know. Um, we got about, it looks like, at least six inches of snow last night. Luckily on the truck, I got uh, winter tires on there, or snow rated tires actually, so it shouldn't be an issue. We're about to go uh, get something to eat. Let's see if we can make it out of here. As you can see, it's uh, I didn't close my sunroof, so the snow's piled up over there. I'm um, gonna head out right now. Maybe get something to eat on the way. And that's it. It's gonna be interesting trying to drive out in this snow, but we can do it. Bye. See ya.